Hi, my name is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Ethereum stem propagation and today I'm going to be talking about the moss method. So a lot of people use sphagnum moss for their Ethereums and a lot of people even grow them straight in it. Now, a lot of people <laughs> is not me. For some reason, I don't know if it's my environment, but I am terrible at propagating and growing things in sphagnum moss. I just don't do it. I do have an example here, which was a fluke of mine that happened to be a success, but honestly, I think it's because it already had some good roots, but it was just a shipment where it came in cold damaged, the leaves fell off, the roots were pretty like in bad, not the greatest condition, and Honestly, I didn't think this plant would live, so I kind of just threw it in a net pot with some moss, and it's been okay. <laughs> now, when I say I can't grow things in sphagnum moss, it's because every time I've tried, it's like if I have a plant that's had root rot, and I cut off those roots, and I treat it, and I put it in moss, for some reason the rot continues. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had some plants without any roots that I've tried propagating in it that have just plain died just from being in the moss. Now, I, I don't know if my method is just wrong. What I typically do is I wet my sphagnum moss. I kind of wring it out a bit so that it's kind of moist, but it's not sopping or soaked. And then I usually put it in like a net pot or an open container, which I've also put it in closed containers but it wasn't successful. But what I prefer to do is a net pot where they would get lots of air. And then when it dry, as soon as it dries out, I typically water it, but I don't soak it. I kind of just water it enough for the moss to get moist again. And that failed me a lot. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just me, like I'm just not a moss person. I'm more of a water person. And that could very well be true. I've heard other people say sometimes it really is just your environment. Like you're just not equipped for a certain thing or you're just better at a certain method. I've never had a water propagation fail me. It's always been extremely successful. Yeah, so this one here is an Anthurium baloanum, And I'm honestly really surprised it's alive. So <laughs> as you can tell, I just watered it the other day and it has grown in this wonderful new leaf here, which I'm really excited about. So this plant is essentially back from the dead, which is really great. And it's done really wonderfully in moss. And I don't know what about this one is just better than my other attempts. It was also in my greenhouse, but I know other people don't use a greenhouse to moss propagate. So honestly, I just think I have bad luck with moss. I'm not a moss grower, and this just happened to be a fluke for me. But this doesn't mean moss is bad. Moss is a great method to propagate plants, especially when it comes to anthuriums. Like I said in my previous video, if you haven't watched it about water propagating, while that attempt was successful, it's not a method I recommend. And this one certainly is the number one method that I see people use. The next video where I talk about stem propagation, I will talk about my absolute favorite way to do this. And it's been very successful for me. And I'm really excited to kind of show you the results of that experiment. And I'm really, really happy about it. And it gives me a lot of confidence to kind of pursue propagating in theorems in the future. But in general, this is a great method. I think it'd be great to kind of transfer an air layered plant into moss. That's a great idea. But honestly, I would probably, if I did air layer an anthurium, I probably would just directly pot it into soil because a lot of the times you can straight propagate anthuriums into soil and it's successful that way as well. But yeah, this has been really awesome. And I'm curious to see what the roots look like on this guy. If there's any rotting at all in here because I've had such bad luck in the past. So we're gonna unearth him and kind of find out. And I'm gonna be very gentle about it because I don't wanna kind of disturb this plant. I know he's kind of in a good place right now, but I do wanna get him potted up into regular soil because like I said, I'm probably gonna end up killing it at some point or another if it does stay in moss. <laughs> So this is why I just don't grow plants in moss. It's just, it's just me guys. I know you're probably so proficient at it. That's amazing. Good for you. <laughs> Man, see, I told you I was bad at moss. Look at this whole rotted section. 
So this whole end piece is rotted. And it doesn't look like, this really does go to show you my bad luck with this because there is no new root growth on this plant and he's rotting. But he had a new leaf, so I thought I was doing something right. I think it's just him being in the greenhouse, like, kind of supported a new leaf. The good thing is the stem's not rotted. It's just this portion of the root. I'm actually just going to dice it here and then plop it in the soil because I'm obviously not putting it back into this moss. <laughs> Isn't that just funny, though? Like, I'm like, oh, gee, I finally successfully moss propagated something. Just kidding. I knew there'd be something wrong with it. I just knew it. But honestly, don't be afraid to moss propagate just because of me. I'm just honestly not built for it. That's just too funny, though. Like, it would be freaking rotted. Didn't I say everything I put in moss rot? I'm mad. I kind of just approved that sad theory. Whatever. Don't know what I'm talking about. This plant just produced me a leaf, like, out of pity, essentially. And it probably thought the humidity in that greenhouse was banging, which I... I understand. So I mean, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that moss propagation was a bit of a fail, but what wasn't a fail was my greenhouse. It literally grew, willed me a leaf, even though this plant was rotting. That's fantastic. That's how good indoor greenhouses are. So let me know down below if you like to moss propagate, if you have failures with moss propagation like I do, is it just me? <laughs> or any kind of feedback just down below. And if you wanna see more content, please subscribe. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much.